Products, and I'm from Gardner, Kansas. I had my surgery Thursday, Wednesday, and went home Thursday last week. I did great. Um, I've been on the go. I've had very little pain. And I, I haven't needed the patch. I felt really good. Is that right, Kyle? <laughs>
of the thousand plus guys that I've operated on, or, or however many, whatever, 15% of 4,000 people is how many guys I've operated on. 600. 600. <laughs> of those people, we've actually had two guys who actually, we kind of joked around in the office that they could use an estrogen patch. So one guy called about two days after surgery and he said, Oh, oh I want to have the surgery reversed. I can't eat steak. You know, you're going, Oh. <laughs> so I can't eat steak. And we're going, well, of course you can't eat steak. You're only four days from the surgery. Oh, I want to eat steak. <laughs> you're going, what? And it was just wild. And he, he said, I want a revision. He said, look, the nice thing about the surgery, we can do a revision. We can't have a revision, you know, in a week. So, anyways, we put him off. For He's from California. Anyways, but he got through. He got through it, and he was fine. But uh, but he, we, it's very rare for men to have these emotional ups and downs. And we think simplistically, it's just women have very high estrogen if they're obese pre-op. And after surgery, the wonderful positive news is we're going to drop that estrogen tremendously. If you think about it, it's associated with no breast cancer. We're going to cut away that chance of breast cancer that's in your family. And endometrial cancer, so it's really exciting. But when a powerful hormone like that suddenly drops precipitously over hours and days, just like quitting smoking or stopping taking narcotics or stopping taking... A, a, what's that? Coca-Cola. Yeah, so that's right. Coca All those things have what's called a withdrawal syndrome, and they hurt and so, and they can hurt the family. That's the thing to remember. It can hurt you at work, where you find that your coworkers don't like to work with you, or you don't like to work with them. And it's not them. They have their own foibles and errors and problems and faults, just like you do. But if you're in the midst of a low estrogen event, those things become so much more prominent, you might quit your job. I had a woman who uh, was from Tennessee. She was a former Miss Wisconsin got married uh, and got on the farm, had two kids and got real heavy. And after surgery, I could not get in touch with her for six months. I called her and emailed her, no answer. Finally, six months later, I got in touch with her. She says, I'm doing great. I've lost 85 pounds. I'm really doing great. Thank you very much. I said, where were you? She said, I'm really depressed. I couldn't leave the house. I was crying all the time. She needed an estrogen patch. And she suffered tremendously. And she suffered on her own and got through it, but she didn't need to suffer. I have that little funny taste in my mouth, you know, especially the last couple days I've noticed that things That's taste different. Right. Yeah. yeah. The Gatorade tastes even worse. Yes. <laughs> yes. And um, yeah, you can't get that taste out. Right. Because that the, yeah. that key, that's the ketones and it won't go away, it won't go away. Your body is going to gradually adjust, but the first couple of days, the weeks can be pretty rough. Okay. Yeah. Other than the soreness in my left side, and I mean, that on the left side, it's sleep or so that bothers me. Other than that, I've had virtually no pain. I had no nausea. And Friday, I was up and out and doing stuff. Shopping, gambling. <laughs> had a good time. Any questions? Anything we should go over or talk about? Make sure that you're not uh, unclear on. I can't think of anything. Okay, you know, you can call us. Yes, yes. Staples out? Yes. On camera or off? That's fine. All right, thank you. Just stay there. I'll come to you. And so you got this bad bruise, and